Ah, Jeshuren, Jeshuren, Jeshuren. Well, haven't you learned yet, eh? That Lucifer, the devil, Satan, is the master of all deception. And he'll come in the likeness of the Lord, hey? He'll come with fire from the skies. And he'll fucking deceive your stupid minds. That's right. Well, what's going on, people? Hmm? Jeshuran? Hmm? What's going on? Hey? Do you think your Lord's riding in the sky? The wings of a cherub? Hmm? Or do you think Satan's pulling your legs? Well, people, people, people. We've been waiting for this, haven't we? Yeah, I've oh, been telling the world about this for how long? Oh, too fucking long. That's right. And what's happening? It's happening. Disclosure. But is it the disclosure we're all waiting for? No, it is not. It is a fucking farce. That's what it is. It's fucking bullshit. Alright? You're eating down there, are you, Carrot? Eh? You're eating the carrot. Woo! Carrots are good for dogs. That's right. It's a fucking farce. It's bullshit. Huh? Call them government craft. Call them Nephilim. Doesn't fucking matter. Hmm? You'll know the Lord when the Lord comes. And the Lord will come with good tidings. And his angels. Yes, and they'll come and reap the harvest. The harvest that is not yet ripe. And I'm telling you, you're fucking stupid if you fall for this hype. Yes, well, huh? I told you about the aliens. Yeah, I've told you good and fucking hard. You want me to explain some things, like the crop circles that we got response back from the fucking outer space, so to say. Yeah, well, that was a big farce too, wasn't it, huh? The human appearance, fucking alien Nephilim looking fucking thing next to it. That's right, human appearance. Oh, these Pleiadians, they got a human appearance too, so to say. Hey, yeah, well, that's fucking if they even exist, you Nazi fucks. Mmm, well, all i got to say is you're all fucking fallen for a Nephilim ploy. Mmm, be it of the government or of the fucking satanic piece of fucking Satanel shit. Mmm, it's up to you to believe or not. But, the crop circle that came with the alien holding the glyph. Yeah, everybody fucking was astonished, weren't they? Yeah, just as astonished as they would be if they were looking at one of God's angels. Yeah, the angels have to come in good tidings. Wonder why? Because the tidings are the fucking things that make people realise they come in peace. That's right, because they're scary looking fuckers. Just like fucking all the angels that come down and fucking met with the people and fucking the people were astonished and they fucking didn't know what to say until the fucking good tidings were laid on the table. Well, the good tidings is the kingdom of the Lord. And are you all ready for it, huh? Have you purified your hearts? Do you fucking feel this fucking commotion that's going on in the fucking cosmos at the moment, huh? Do you understand that everyone's fucking out and all really fucking distressed and fucked up and depressed? Why? Because they know it's fucking in hindsight. It's the fucking calm... Fucking before the storm, eh? and we know the calm, and the calm is fucking there, and we're fucking waiting for the storm. That's right. Wake up, people. The aliens, the angels, God's fucking angels, Satan's fucking angels. These are a fucking ploy to fuck with the stupid sheeple's heads and make them all believe that they fucking know something. Uh, yes, well, watch all the hypocrites come out and start being mimicking monkey bitches. All the fuckwits that told you aliens didn't exist for fucking years. All the fucking wankers. Mm. Well, fall for it or fall for it not. But I'll be waiting a while and I'll be fucking looking to the skies and I'll be fucking looking to these fucking craft and asking questions. That's right. Like I said, the light of Lucifer's army Mmm, you'll know the fucking cherubs when they fucking fly by, yep, you'll know the fucking doves at their windows, Jeshuran, mmm, you'll know that your god flies in the skies and his angels will come with him, but you'll also fucking find out if you don't know the fucking truth in the hard way, that this is a fucking satanic ploy planned from the beginning of fucking man. That's right. And if you cannot see that and you're fucking all fucking fucked up and then fucking, oh, wow, well, look at me, you hypomania fucking full of shit, fucking freaks. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd be getting your heads on your shoulders. I'd be straightening your fucking, <laughs> straightening your fucking conscience and fucking looking for the skies for something different than this fucking bullshit. All right, we're going to know what's going on. These aren't craft. These are fucking bullshit lights. These are unmanned fucking craft. These are fucking ploys. Huh? We all know about Vril. Uh, if anybody doesn't know about Vril and the German technology, then they've fucking got to start looking into more shit, don't they? Wake up, people, people, people. Jeshuran, you are not 
fucking ripe. Mm, Israel, you will fucking obey the Lord. And the Lord will fucking put you in his place. And his place is the place for you. And if you do not like it, mm, you're screwed. For the Lord comes with wrath and anger. And his mercy is large. But, well, if you fucking disrespect the Holy Spirit, if the Spirit's revealing things to your heart, and you're not fucking putting them out there for the fucking masses and explaining yourself and putting your fucking truths down that you've been fucking revealed by the spirit of truth in your hearts, then you disobey the Holy Spirit. That is the fucking sin of sins. You must obey the fucking Lord. The Lord is spirit. The spirit is within you all. And if you fucking feel you are fucking awakened or enlightened or being revealed anything and in signs, trials and tribulations, Hmm? Omens and signs? Then you fucking better start doing what I've been doing. You better put your shit out there. You better start waking people up and you better fucking do it right. And you better do it before the shit hits the fan with all this fucking hypermania, fucking wanker, satanic fucking crap that we're all dealing with right now. Hmm? Don't believe me? Well, look it up, you fucking fools. That's right. Satanic ploy. You ready? You ready? Hmm? You ready? Yeah. I'd be ready. Be ready for the new war and the fucking big, 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 big wake-up call that's going to strike mankind next year. Hmm. My birthday, 28th of October, 2011. Wait for it. It's the beginning of the year. Hmm, it's the beginning of no time. Yes, no time. The dark rift. The period between now and the year of the dragon. Hmm. Well, the year of the dragon, 2012, and Satan shall be released from his pit. That's right. And all I've got to say to you fucking people is, are you ready for the asteroid? 2036, 2027? Mmm, be ready for it. And also be ready for the kingdom. Because that's what. The time is now. Au revoir. Okay, well, it wasn't good enough for some of you, was it? Okay, well, I get it. Doesn't matter, I'll just show it again. And all you Masonic fucking minions out there who fucking think you're all fucking good and all that shit, and you go out there fucking preaching all this bullshit over the fucking internet, trying to sucker in fucking fools. Well, here's for all you fucking fools, okay? And you're trying to get fucking into the fucking club. Mmm, this is what you're all about. Vulgar, the common people. Yep. Turn it around. You want more light? Vulgar, the common people. That's right. Hmm? The aim of Freemasonry is to... Hmm. What's this, huh? Rituals of the first, second, and third degree. Charges and explanations of the first and second degree tracing boards. Installation of master, second degree segment investiture of immediate past master. As revised by the Standard Committee on Ritual, Ceremonial, and approved by the gr most worshipful Grand Master. I.e. My Dada. Mm. This is ritual. Should, uh, this ritual should be read in conjunction with the book Information on Lodge Workings. Well, there you go, huh? Told ya. First three degrees of masonry, huh? All the way through. All fucking coded in fucking... In whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Bullshit. That's just wank, 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 wank. That's what it is. All wank, 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 wank. And you reckon, oh, it's nothing. Oh, nothing. It says vulgar and the common people. Well, that don't mean nothing. That don't mean we're fucking all loving. Oh, that don't mean we fucking love everybody and all we're all for the common good and charity. Oh, we're all about charity. We love our charity. Oh, yeah, because we're Freemasons. Oh, we're wankers. Yeah. Yes, Victoria Constitution, 1966. Mm. I'll show you your charity. You want to know what the Freemason charity is all about? It's all about charity for the Masons. Yeah, it always is. Oh, it's charity this, charity that. 
Oh, they love us so much, they just thought, feed us this charity crap. Ah, fucking charity, 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 eh? What's this? Laws, rules, and regulations for the government of the craft. Mmm, the government of the craft, huh? Oh, yeah, the government, all about piety. Oh, yeah, I see. Oh, yeah, you don't run the world. <laughs> Wicked. What am I going to fucking show you here, eh? I'll find it. Huh, might take a while, but I'll find it. And I'll show you what their charity's all about. Mmm. Wait a minute. Open up. Let's see what we got here, eh? Masters, wardens, fellows, and apprentices. Behaviour behind the lodge. Blah, 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 behaviour after the lodge. Behaviour, blah, 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 behaviour towards a strange brother. Woo! Charity. Tra yeah. Mmm. Can't see it? I understand. Well, can't help it, eh? Behaviour towards a strange brother. Out of the Victoria Constitutions of Freemasonry. Mmm. First, second, third degrees. Master Masonry. Wank, 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 wank. Ah, behaviour towards a strange brother. You are cautiously to examine him in such a method as prudence shall direct you, that you may not be imposed by an ignorant, false pretender, whom you are to reject with contempt and derision, and beware of giving him any hints of knowledge. Mmm, you fucking moronic pieces of shit. Dog turd fucking unkosher fucking shit. Masonic fucking pieces of wank art turd fucking shit. Yep, that's what you are. Huh? Argue with me, you fucking moronic pieces of turd. Satanic shit. That's right, you're Satan's little minions. The whole point of Freemasonry is to make you spit in your God's face. That is why you have to fucking believe in a fucking higher power to become a Mason. So you can go through their little rituals and spit in that higher power's face and think you're doing the right thing. Yeah, well, you're fucking disgrace, all of you fucking mimicking monkey bitches. Hmm. A tender whom you are to reject with contempt and derision and beware of giving him any hints of knowledge. But if you discover him to be a true and genuine brother, you are to respect him accordingly. And if he is in want, you must relieve him, if you can, or else direct him how he may be relieved. You must employ him some days, or else recommend him to be employed. But you are not charged to do beyond your ability, only to prefer a poor brother that is a good man and true before any other poor people. In the same circumstances. Fucking in the book. The book. The book says it all, you fucking morning pieces of shit. My seven facts of Freemasonry nails you fucking cunts on the head. That's why I fucking drawn all the fucking anger and your fucking little minions and shills out from everywhere. That's why I fucking nailed you cunts and you can't fucking come back and say anything else. Yeah, you just try to put me down and my image and all everything else. Well, I know your tricks and your ways. I'm not stupid, you know. I'm not like the other fucking fools out there. That's right. Mmm. And so moted be, hey? Oh, amen. So moted a bee. Oh, yeah, wank. Yeah, so mote this be. Fucking told you so. I've left it this long. I got all the answers out of these books. Seven facts of Freemasonry is completely correct. Seven facts that prove you're a fucking hypocrisy. Mmm. A fucking piece of shit fucking turd fucking Freemasonic fraternity. Wank fucking on. Finally, all these charges you are to observe and also those that shall be communicated to you in another way. Cultivating brotherly love, the foundation and copestone, the cement and glory of this ancient fraternity, avoiding all wrangling and quarrelling. Wank, wank, wank. What did we just read above, huh? Want me to read it again? Well, we want, we want me to go through their fucking... Bullshit fucking, oh, lovely, da -de da da shit. Eh, wank on. But if you discover to be a true and genuine brother, you are to respect him accordingly. And if he is in want, you must relieve him if you can, or else direct him of how he may be relieved. You must employ him some days, or else recommend him to be employed. But you are not charged to do beyond your ability, only to prefer a poor brother that is a good man, and i.e. a fucking mason, not a vulgar fucking person like us. Mm -hmm. A good man, a wanker mason, a true, before any other poor vulgar little people like us. Yes, that's little fucking charitable fucking fiends who fucking, oh, Mason's is shit. Yeah, Masons think we're vulgar, you pieces of shit. That's right, wake up and smell the fucking roses.